Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. We're back with another art before breakfast. Good morning, May. We'll give a couple minutes for folks to get in. I was just thinking about what I wanted to do today, and I think. <clears throat> hang on one sec. Let me get my iPad up and going. Hide me. Um, I think what I want to do is. Hang on. Your channel live. There we go. I have this piece of paper. Um, don't know where I got it. It's actually on cardstock. I printed it. And what I was thinking is that we would make a handmade envelope and then just make stuff to stuff it with. How does that sound to everybody? Well, I have just May here right now. The others will join once they see I'm live. Takes them a minute to get going, but I'm gonna look at this yummy mop up paper I had from yesterday's activity. I can't wait to make some things out of that. So I'm gonna start by inking this up and waiting for the others to join. It was really nice talking to you last night, May. I really enjoyed it. So let's do this. And I might do a little more of the Yeah, that's um oh the the jewelry pieces i know oh you know what i haven't gone over to look at hang on i'm gonna go grab them the bracelets they must be dry by now Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Oh, we've got four in here now. So here are some bracelets, you guys, that I made yesterday. I was showing these to May. We were doing a... Um, so May's here from Crafting on a Budget. For those who are just coming in, if you know May, say hi. So I was working on these bracelets... That looks like a piece of hair in there, which I don't want that in my bracelet. There, it's gone. Might have been from the paintbrush. Look at these. Look at the color on those. Isn't that wonderful? And then this one. And then this one's a bit darker. Just look at those. Those are going to be bracelets. I know. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, our regulars sometimes take a while to get here. Now, they're real sticky on the top. i got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. I don't remember that from the last time I did this. I don't remember them being sticky. But um, we'll look at the red on the back side. But anyway, yeah, they do look pretty amazing. Won't those be cool cuff bracelets? Good morning. Mimi May has joined us from Crafting on a Budget. And I was just showing off some of the... Um, bracelets that I was putting patina on yesterday. This is my favorite. This is going to turn into a cuff bracelet, Mimi. 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There's another little hair. I think those are hairs from the brush I used to brush on the patina. It came off on there. I'll get those out of there. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, Susan. I don't think I'm lying down still. Hard to type, but watching. So, Susan, is this your first time here? If so, welcome. But look at that. Look at that patina. Won't that just make a wonderful... Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, I'm so sorry that you're feeling so bad. Okay, I'm going to set these over to the side for now. I'll have to finish those up later today. But this morning, so um, but did you speak up, Susan? I don't remember chatting with you in the chat. I'm so glad to have you. So I'm inking this up and then I'll show you what we're going to do with it. Yes, hopefully the doctor will help. I um, There's nothing worse than, and Mimi, I know you know this too, being in so much pain and just helpless to do anything about it. You did not speak up. Ah, so you're one of those mystery people that's in the background. Well, I'm glad you decided to speak up. We're going to have a lot of interaction today, I think, because what I want to do is turn this piece of paper into an envelope by folding it up and then over at the top and make an envelope out of it we can decorate the front of the envelope and then i want to make stuff to go in it kind of um you know kind of stuff it so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of fold this in half good morning marty so for everybody who knows her, uh, May from Crafting on a Budget, some of you may not be familiar with her. She used to have a store and she sold a lot online and she is here with us this morning. And out of my millions of pairs of scissors, do you think I can find one of them? There's a little ones here, but I need a big one. Hang on. I've got them all over my all over my shop. Okay. I'm just going to take this and cut it down just a little bit. So that when we fold it, we'll have a little bit of um, That's what I told her too. It's good that she's back to crafting. She's not sure if she's going to sell again. Maybe, maybe not. But she's definitely back to crafting. Up till four. You're nuts, girl. I'm a night owl, but I was definitely asleep by four. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to fold this. What do you guys think about this idea? I'm going to fold this, but I'm not going to close it just yet because I want to sew it. But... I'm always so happy when we get a new person. I'm so, so glad, Susan, that you decided to speak up today. Yeah, I do too. This is, um, I think this came from G at Happiness and Crafting. I think this was one of her Friday freebies. All right, so I've got that. Now I need to do something here. I could either put paper or I could do more of that dipping in the ink where we um, where we, you know, put the ink in the middle. You guys tell me, should I cover it with paper? And I've got some paper that I was using for something else yesterday. I've got this. It's very white, but it's too white. Um I've got some other papers in here that I could probably use. Okay, we'll do the dip it in the ink. What color should we use? Um, we definitely need some bundled sage to go with the green. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. The top of the fold needs to have some distressing. Thank you, Mimi. And then I want to do one of those, um, like the policy envelopes, the folds on them. All right. <laughs> well, you're welcome to speak up as much as you want. You've watched this before, so you know. You know what this is all about. Gotta go head to the doctor. Oh, Cheryl, I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, no, not with fabric. They're just going to be copper, Mimi. Um... Cheryl, I hope the doctor can give you some relief. Um, I hope. All right. But she's doing much better now, Mimi. She's joining us, and she's here with the fun crowd, and yeah. <laughs> I'm in a chat and I can't shut up. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, I am going to put bundled sage. You guys tell me what other color. Brown to go with the distressing on the outside. We don't have to go all the way down because it will be folded up, but down far enough that we get the color. So there's the color. We need an alert bracelet. I don't think anybody can ever talk too much in here. All right, what other color? You guys help me out. I could put like a charcoal gray. I could. We are Mimi and I was, May and I talked yesterday quite a bit and catching up on stuff. And like I told her, we are the crowd that doesn't, there's no drama here. There's no, there's so much of that in the rest of this community and we don't do that here we just come and have fun everybody loves everybody and 
no competition or no, it's just fun time. All right. All right. What other color you guys haven't been? Oh, good morning, Jess. Hey, May's here crafting on a budget. She joined us this morning. She's kind of slowly working her way back into crafting. Oh, and Susan Gazaway is here. Yay. Oh, we got a full crowd today. So what other color should we put with this for the inside of this envelope? Just leave it the green? Or should I put some color on it? Some other color. You guys got to help me on this one. I know everybody's busy saying hello to everybody else, and I get that. I get it. So Susan Gazaway is kind of fairly, I mean, she's been around now for a while, for several months, but I found her. Um, I was doing the Marguerite Miller challenge and I found her channel and then we kind of got to be friends and I invited her. Um, something pink on it. Okay. On what, the color or the outside of the envelope? You want a pink in here? I've got this Victorian velvet. And I've also got spun sugar. Oh, but you're our tiebreaker. Get some coffee quick. <clears throat> what do you think on the outside? Okay. Should we just leave the inside the way it is? Actually, I need to ink this part up too. Got to ink up all the creases. All right. There's our envelope. This to really stand out. All right. Should we round these corners? Maybe. If I have my corner rounder handy, there it is. <laughs> the undressed top fold. I didn't want to cut quite right. Let's go with the bigger one. There we go. So I started working. I was having fun with those colors. I started working on another piece last night. And this was as far as I got. Actually, I had another something up here. I don't know where it went. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple of little tags up here. But I started with this. I just hadn't glued it down. Anyway. So I kept playing with it. Well, actually, I came back to it. That's not purpose. Thank you. It is, Susan. It is... Yeah, I really like this one because it's got the four different, three different, everybody is great here. Everybody's welcoming and okay, so we never, I think with the brown, I think the green is enough for the ink. Now, I'm still not going to put it down yet because what I want to do is make one of those, you know, little round thingies, but I got to have this open so I can put it on the bottom part. Sylvia, welcome. For everybody who doesn't know, Sylvia is in France. I still haven't mailed your thing yet. I got so caught up in getting ready for the show that I apologize. I did not 
get your thing up, but I still have it. All right, let's see, what shall we punch? I could just do craft stuff. That might be kind of boring, but I could stamp some writing on it. Or I just need to punch out some, I need some little circles. Oh, we've got that. It's sort of matching. I'll choose that. And let's see if I have my little one inch punch handy. There it is. We have got quite the crowd today. Yay! So I'm going to do. This might be a little big, but I'm going to use them. But I really, oh, you know what? They have somewhere. That's an eighth of an inch. That's a quarter of an inch. I was thinking I had a half inch somewhere. Hang on a sec. Let me see what I've got down here. My punches. Ooh, I've got that. We could make a little flowery. Um, tie down. Huh. I'm not seeing a smaller one in here, so let's. Okay. Don't you guys think this one's a little too big if we had one top and bottom, or no? Let me cut another one and we'll see. Those are kind of big, aren't they? I think those are kind of big. So let's do... a gentle pink closer flower. Okay. Um, let me find some paper we surely can find some gentle pink in here Ooh, those are pretty do you guys like these I don't have a smaller punch. That's the problem. I need a half inch punch. I had one. And um, I'm trying to keep up with the. I don't have a smaller one, unfortunately. All right. Do you guys like this paper? So I was looking at either that one or I have um, the map. So it's either the flowers or the map. What do you guys think? Yes, I am going to put a brad on them. But not that great big circle. I've got these little, maybe I could put the flower on the circle. Okay, let's pick. Flower paper or matte paper for the closure? Flower. Okay. Let's cut... <laughs> yeah, I was assuming that, Jess. <laughs> I'm trying to get some of the flowers here. Oh, I had one map and one flower. Um, but I can maybe do them both. Hmm. 
Okay, what if we took these bigger ones and ink up around the edges? Now I'd need to still build that up a little bit and then just that at the bottom. We'll use the map for something else, um, Susan. Yeah. So what do you think about that? Do the top one there and the bottom one. Actually, I should do it the other way around because this is what gets the bulk of the... I have these little tiny flies all of a sudden in my basement. And I don't know where they're coming from. But they're driving me nuts. All right, so we'll do three of these together. And then, and I'm still going to use my Fabri-Tac. I've been hooked on using this stuff for every, everything. You haven't used it, Mimi? Shame on you. All the die cuts that we've been doing in the morning um, art before breakfast? You need to get that thing out, girl. Make some of those shaped, um, oh, I have a silhouette. I like it. I use it for different things, though. I don't, because I don't like getting it all out and hooking it up for just little things. So I usually use mine. I make all my own earring cards for my jewelry. Okay, there's one. Let's do, whoops. I thought I did enough of those. I don't know if we'll use two, but we'll see. Really? They're really not bad. They do take a little... Um, um, they do take a little getting used to because there is some software involved. Um, but if anybody ever wants a silhouette... Uh, demo if you have one I know that wouldn't appeal to everybody so I haven't really done anything like that but um, lots of dyes you need we need to do some cutting Mimi okay Those are awful big, but if I put the little pink flowers on them, these need to be inked really bad. Because you can't see them very well on there. They're awful small. Or I could put a little sticker of something on there. Let's see if this helps. And then they'll have a brad in the middle. That helps. What do you guys think of that? Do you like that? And then with the brad? Okay, and then I think we need to ink around these as well. That works. They're big, but I think they'll be okay. And now you know what I'm going to do as soon as we're done with this... Um, session I'm going to go order myself a half inch and a three quarter inch punch I'm terrible about that if I find I don't have something and I need it I just go buy it and I shouldn't do that well I don't as much now because I 
I don't have as much money. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I have colored brads that I could use. I've got a green that might go pretty in the middle. Um, I don't have pink, I do have purple. Or I have like a bronzy color. Ooh, I have black ones that would match with the black on the writing. Okay, so here's what I've got. You guys tell me what you think. I've got the bronzy one that would go in the middle of the flower. The money thing puts the bricks. Oh, gosh, yes. I've got the black one. That's kind of harsh. Or I've got the green one. I know what my choice is, but I want to hear what you guys think. And while you're doing that, I'm going to look for a pokey tool. First, I'm going to put this flower down. You guys tell me bronze, black, or green on the brad. There's that one. Yeah, I was telling May yesterday, I don't know that I could ever go back to working outside the home. I'm so spoiled working for myself. Green goodbye. Are you leaving us, Jess? All right, I'm just going to go right through the middle of this. Are you leaving, Jess? Time to go to work, maybe? I want to poke through one of these so that you can see Quandary now. Well, I'm going to put them. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for coming. Happy donut making. All right. So we had a vote for bronze. So let me put that one in there so you can see it. Let me get it through. There's the bronze. And here's the green. on here so there's that green isn't quite the right green that was going to be my um first choice was the green but now that i'm seeing it you like the green now that i'm seeing it i kind of like the bronze because i don't know that that green is the right color green i think it kind of clashes with the other green what do you guys think what do you think? Marty says green. I have green, two greens and a bronze. What does everybody else think? Mimi, what do you think? I'm going to put the green one in here too. What did I say? Hands on hips. You said green green from may so mo most people are saying green so what i want to do is get both of these on here get one of each so we can really see them objectively fold these down okay there's a green I'll put them on this part where it can sit down flat. All right, there's the two colors. The green is a little bit different green, which doesn't matter. It can be. 
Aww. So I'm seeing a lot of greens. Do we go with green? I only see one bronze. Looks like green is the choice. Okay, now I need to poke these holes through to through the envelope. Um, let me get another green out here. I know I've said this before, but it is leaning towards green. Okay, well, green it is. All right, so now. Let's see, shall we put it right about there? What I'm going to do is take a pen or a pencil. I'm just going to mark a little dot in there where we want that to be. Aww. My garden boy i have so much zucchini i am um, last night i was asking hubby so what shall we have for dinner and he said what are the choices i said well i've got um i said i can make spaghetti and he says "Ooh, love me some spaghetti he said how about if you chop up some zucchini and put in it and i thought wow that sounds kind of interesting And I did, and it was actually surprisingly very, very good. So I'm going to take a little bit of washi tape with some extra glue. Someday have a grandbaby. Yeah, you will. You will. Your girls are still young. Now, do you have, you have a son too, don't you, May? All right, we'll put that over that so it doesn't interfere with anything going in or out of the envelope. All right, so we got that one. Now, let's put this one right here. Oops, I gotta take this out. So we'll put this in here. And on this top inside flap, I'll probably oh oh I guess they're not super young, huh? Carla has no desire to do the whole family thing. I suppose you would probably prefer she gets married before she has kids, but I know that's not always the way anymore. Well, it never has been the way. Always. Hey, Mike. Um, May, that's Mike, who I was telling you about from the UK. All right, there we go. So, and I'll put the string on later when we get done. Now, I want to put something across here. And I was thinking this lighter green piece might be nice. Um, we'll have to cut it right underneath that. Kids are not on her budget. Well, tell her that if she waits until she can afford it, she'll never have kids. You just, you adjust your budget. I'm sure you understand that. 
with three kids, May, and everybody else here too, if um, if everybody were to wait until they could truly afford it, no one would ever have kids. You just go for it. And somehow the budget works out. You adjust your standard of living. You, I don't know. You just make it work. And then how about if we put that up there and that'll cover up that um, Brad. So Mike, Susan is new here. Um, well, she's not new. She's been here before, but she's never talked to us before. So Susan Gerald is new. We've got the other Susan here, too. We're getting lots of people. Some people have left, though, from when we first started. So I don't know who's left, but or who, you know, left the stream, but I'm glad Susan spoke up. She said she's been here before watching. Oh, they were year dating long distance. Yeah, you make it work. I mean, can't wait until you can afford it. You'll never, you'll never afford it. There, let's put that on there. And then I'm ready to sew it together. Oh, absolutely. I agree with that, Susan. A lot of kids, well, a lot of times it, having a baby isn't by choice. It's by accident. And that's... Some people can make that work and other people not. All right, there we go. There's the inside of our envelope. What do you think? Pretty little envelope. Um, let me go stitch down these two sides real quick. Actually, I may want to put just a bead of glue just to be safe. And then we'll stitch over that. Oh, very cool. Assistant coach. So he's got a good job with a good future. And, you know, he's not just flipping burgers. He's got a job job. Be right back, you guys. I am sewing this. Strings all tangled up in there. Okay. So you guys keep on talking. I'll be right back. I'm just sewing these edges. One more and I'll be there. have an envelope look at that 
Isn't that just the cutest little thing? Quick car, we're headed home. Oh, good morning, Penny. Well, if they can make it through the hardship, that prepares them for marriage, right? Because marriage isn't all smooth sailing. And if they can make it through some tough times now, then that bodes well for down the line. All right. Look at that envelope. Isn't that just the cutest? All right. What shall we... I don't know that we need to do anything on the back because I'm thinking this will like go into a belly band or um, maybe not this belly band, but a belly band. Actually, look at this. It doesn't quite fit. It's too wide, but look at how pretty that would have been in there with the greens. All right. What shall we put in it? Shall we put in it some of the things we've been making? Shall we make some new stuff? We could load it up. I think this is going to be too tall. Well, it's not too tall for the card, but it'll bend the ribbon over. Let's, you know, I've had this thing and I've been wanting to use it for a while now because I really, really like this. Let's um, make up a quick, oh, I know what I could do with this. We are at. Uh, 47 minutes, so I'll probably do something real quick and then we'll um, Oh, Vanessa didn't come this morning. May? Alright, how about if we make, because that really matches well, doesn't it? And I've been dying to use this. So how about... Yeah, that's going to be too big, but I have, or I thought I had, some smaller index cards that were, that will work. All right, so what if we take this coffee dyed envelope, Oh, yes, they are. I did that once way, way, way back. Oh, you're fine. Here's what we're making. We made this little envelope from scratch. We're going to have a, one of those policy ties back here. Bye, Susan. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, she did. Sorry to hear that. So we can put this in here and we can decorate this little card. What do you think about that? And then I can use my flower that I have been dying to use. Thank you, Sylvia. Yeah, we still got to put the... What do you guys think about this idea? I kind of like it. I've been dying to use this. Big Mama, when you were showing Heidi the other day and I was watching that video, I had to get Daisy out of her box and flip through her. I just had an urge to see some Big Mama work up close. Up close and personal. 
Oh, Daisy is a um, journal that I bought from Big Mama. And that's the first journal I have ever purchased, ever. Because I always said, I can make them myself. Why would I buy one? <clears throat> but I saw Daisy. And I had to have her. I just, um, I did a flip through somewhere, somewhere in the recent past. Um, she's just amazing. Oh, you sold her. Uh, so I want to learn how to make those boxes. Big Mama. Maybe you and I could get on a private YouTube um, session. You could show me how to make them. Because I've got a whole bunch of cereal boxes and... I suppose there's probably a million videos on YouTube that show it, too. Okay, this inking up always takes the longest, doesn't it? And I'm doing inside and outside. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot better. Um, so, with my little flower... Should I put fabric or lace or just, I think, just the flower? I love it. Maybe a butterfly up here in the corner. I love it. Now, I am going to use glue stick on this because it is so light. I think that um, the Fabri-Tac would be real heavy for this little lightweight piece of paper. This is just printed on copy paper. Um, for those of you who are new here, let me remind you of a couple of things because we're getting towards the end of the month. Um, be sure that after the videos, you comment on them, not, not in here, not in the live chat, but actually on the video. Because at the end of the month, everybody who comments goes in a drawing for um, a happy mail package. And yes, it is. Look at that. I bet if I sewed around that, it would be even prettier. I should have sewed the paper before I put it in there because I don't want to sew it with <clears throat> that because it would mess up the writing space. All right. How about just a little butterfly and i've got some oh, that's too big let me let me find butterfly stickers um and i do the drawing live um yeah i like florals too i like it all though um, I do the drawing live, so it'll be August 1st. Um, I'll come on live and do the, the drawing. And the Happy Mail package varies each month, but it's usually a pretty good one. Um, last month it was a, um, uh, a boho package of fabrics and trims, and I just had a whole bunch of stuff in there. This would actually match up there, too. What do you think about that butterfly there? Does it mess up these colors too much? I don't have anything real little. I don't think I have anything little in here. Oh, I do, I do, I do. My tweezers. There, that actually is kind of the same color family. What do you think? Do I have a B? Well, I like this one. I don't have a B um, that's colored. I have, um, I don't have a little B. Or at least I don't think I do. I have a B charm, but not a B. 
there. What do you guys think of that? Like that right there. Okay, let's put it on. Yeah, that green butterfly was. It was too... Because we've got such muted colors here. There we go. And then we've got the inside and the back side, which I don't think need anything. Um, and then this will go in here like this. Let me find my... Um, I have somewhere a whole ball of kind of a fine twine. And of course, so May, one of the things you're going to learn about me is I am the absent-minded crafter. I lose stuff like nobody's business. I am terrible, terrible, terrible. I just had it. It was a whole like brand new ball of twine and i said oh put that out where you can get to it because you'll probably need it and i put it out where i couldn't tell you that's probably the most frustrating thing about watching my videos is the fact that i never know oh there it is it's right in front of my face this is crochet twine Now, should I leave it white or should I put a little color on it? And how do you find the end in these things? Good night. I don't know how you find the end of these things. Does anybody have a clue? Like what do they do with the end of the, the thread? I would think that they would just kind of poke it under and if you kind of gently pull on some of these top pieces that it would come loose but no such luck okay well we are just about done here i'm going to put this this uh I'm going to put this twine on and then we'll be over, those of us who go, we'll be over to Janet Nash's as well. Because I do like to watch her. So let me put a couple of ties on this. Put a little double knot in here. And then we'll just, I'll cut that tail off in a minute. I'll cut that one off under there, and this one I'll leave kind of long. So there it is. There's our envelope. Didn't do anything on this side, but I'm thinking it would go in a belly band like that. And I may end up putting some decorations on it, but um, that's what I'm going to do for today. We are at 59 minutes, so right at an hour. And those didn't end up being too awfully long or big, those little circles, once we got the flowers and the bread. Let me go in here. I could put a word up here. So I can do some more decorating when I go to use it. But for now, I have this. And what a fun little project. Thank you, Susan. I like it. I definitely need to put something on there. All right. I will see you all later. I'm going to head over to Janet Nash's as well. And... Um, 
Aww. Well, you're always welcome here, May. Whenever you're not working and you want to come hang with us, come hang with us. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to run and head over to Janet's and watch Janet. Um, yep, I'm heading over there too, Big Mama. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Don't forget thumbs up. I love you all. Bye.